This is an Urbis Sapphire 1, the smallest lantern in the Sapphire series. This particular one runs 70 watt sun, but 50 watt and 100 watt examples were also available. I do believe metal halide versions are also available. I have seen them in use around new housing estates. It could come with an aluminium or polypropylene canopy, this one being the latter. It came with a hockey stick bracket, which is actually just the top of a hockey stick column. My guess is the new lanterns needed to be mounted post top, so the hockey stick was removed. Bowls are available in four types, flat glass, low profile polycarbonate, or deep polycarbonate. The bowl on mine is a low profile polycarbonate and is a bit marked up from its removal, uh, but it's not too bad. Some sapphire ones have this death clip on the side, and I call it a death clip because it snaps shut so quickly and with such force that if you're not looking what you're doing, it'll smash your fingers up. I honestly wouldn't put it past it to break one or two of them as well. In fact, here's an unedited segment of me closing the clip. So be careful if you have one of these. The seal on these things is also horrendous. This one had an unbelievable number of cobwebs, dirt in the gear area, and don't even get me started on the gigantic spiders and bugs that were included, especially in the spigot. Um, speaking of the spigot, it is available in post hop or side entry mounting and is secured by two grub screws on this kind of on this metal rod. We're now coming to the end of the warm up, but if you'd like to vote on what my next video will be, Check the community tab for the poll. I've been away for quite some time now, during which I've had several new lanterns into the collection. I think about 10 actually. Including, but not limited to, an Urbis ZX-1, several Philips MI50s, a GC Z9539 and loads more. So stay tuned.